been a couple of days, but hello, ladies and bitches. I am Civil Wolf 20. Before we start with Chapter 2 of Telltale's Game of Thrones, I just would like to go over the choices that I made in the last chapter. With me, of course, as always, is Pika, the wrestling what god. What I do? What, what I do? Me and 34% of the people left Bowen behind. Me and 37% of the people swore loyalty to Marjorie. Me and 48% freed Eric. Me and 69% picked Duncan as Sentinel. And me and 50% of the people met Ramsey in the Great Hall. And that lets your demise. Spoiler alert. <laughs> and that led to me losing five fucking characters in the first chapter, including the future king. Or future mm -hmm. lord, as it, as it were. Oh, so, of course, sir. God fucking damn it. <laughs> this game makes well, you me want to drink. <laughs> you should be drinking, because I am right now. <laughs> I'm ready. I love how you're drinking and you're not even the one uh, going through all this. The crazy thing is, shit. I'm watching, like, kind of making the same choices as you as watching it, so I'm gonna feel bad and I'm gonna have to drink. So every time you get somebody killed, I'm taking a huge chug. I can tell you that. Huh? So you'll have a huge chug for both of us, because the the person sitting next to me doesn't who doesn't want to be on video. Mm -hmm. Like me does not want to drink. So, with that being said, we begin episode two. I am the sword in the darkness. I am the watcher on the wall. I am spooky. And you're not in the. No, not... I'm watching. It just says that. It just says that. It just says zero. Yeah, but I'm still watching. Okay. <laughs> we had that episode last episode. <laughs> Begundo. Good fuck. I, I wish you good fuck at this point. I might I might need a good fucking when this all when this is all said and done if the game doesn't do it for you. Mm -hmm. PK, are you available? Um yeah. <laughs> I'll just fly in Air Canada. <laughs> Previously on Game of Thrones. Get right. Must never be lost. You're sending him to the war. The boy's done nothing wrong. The future of this house is in Lord Ethan's hands now. For the next five seconds. I've decided to name you as my sentinel. I'm just worried about my family. The king was not inclined to offer help for you. Doesn't it suck like looking at your mistakes like in the previous and all that? <laughs> yeah, right. It does. Mm. I'm sorry, Lord Tyrion, but it's a risk I cannot afford. Your mother asked me to cross the narrow sea to find your brother, Rash. We don't want White Hill men within these walls. You can be my highborn ward. Oh. Ethan. No. Don't let them take me. Oh. And that's a brief glimpse of how badly I fucked up, but. <laughs> Yeah, it's probably it's sugar coated in this There's yeah. now. Looks like we go back to our female friend. Following a scorpion. We're following oh. Scorpinox. Wait, can this be what? Asher! I have no idea who the fuck he is, but apparently he's a badass. If you play him a badass, just don't. You just have to at this point. Getting warm. 
Cool. I'm just gonna say, if you get my favorite character killed, Silver, <laughs> I'm done. Your favorite character is Asher, I'm assuming? Yep. There's chaos out there since the Master's fled. Give it a good look around. Give me a nice picture. This place could use a good cleaning. I can claim to be owner. Is that wine? Or blood? Taste it and find out. <laughs> um. Oh, it lets you taste it. Sweet. The thing is, are you going to be a badass and taste it? It's blood. <laughs> it's blood. Nice having a place to <laughs> Oh. <laughs> See, you fucked up, bro. You gave him an STD. <laughs> Good job. <Break>. Oh, well. <laughs> oh, well. <laughs> oh, a badass would have tasted it. Yeah, exactly. Looks like we weren't the first to rough up the place. Ooh. What's this? What's this? What's this? Look at. Only a forester brings his axe all the way to Essos. Oh, yes. That's going to come in handy. Mine. It's my own. My precious. Beshka. I know, I know. Woman soul. Boy is That's good. She's actually one of my favorite characters. Oh, actually, one of my female, favorite female characters. So. Ale goes in yellow, comes out yellow. Waste time even drinking it, if you ask me. Considering we found it in an abandoned tavern, it's not bad. It smell off to you. I'll start drinking, motherfucker. Okay. <laughs> it's a filthy haven for thieves, murderers, and other deadly bastards. You should feel right at home. I know I do. May we drink, thieve, and fight until the end. I'll drink to that. <laughs> You'll drink to anything. Another round? Have you forgotten about our honored and exalted guest? Go see if he's still breathing. Oh, hello. Is that my sex slave? Oh, yes. You like him? No, oh, does Asha scare you? You should see him when he's angry. Eight hundred gold dragons for capturing him. Gold nice YouTube music, bro. <laughs> we should find more former slave masters with bounties on their heads. I don't need any more naked fat men in my life, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> they say only the poor know how to really spend money. We'll buy the finest wines, the best whores. Sleep in a bed without fleas? Sounds nice, doesn't it? We've not been paid yet, Beska. Can't spend dragons you don't have. We'll have them soon enough. My point is, with enough coin, we could do anything. Go anywhere. I could afford passage back to Westeros. To Ironrath. I've heard nothing from my family in years. You mean go home? They treated you like shit there. Kicked you out because you fell in love with a girl from the wrong damn house. Gwyn. A man doesn't choose who he loves. Your family should understand that. Westeros and its bloody houses. Who fucking cares? It's hmm. all an excuse to tell everyone else what to do. They're still my family. My brothers and sisters. They had nothing to do with it. I suppose that's true. Just remember, we have a good thing here. And any moment now, we're gonna be rich. Let's make a toast. I like her already. To all of us deadly bastards. 
to 800 gold dragons in our pocket. Well said. Yeah, she's a fitting partner. I like her. Beskev, I thought freed slaves put the bounty on the Zark. They did. With his own gold. <laughs> if you fucked them the cheers, I would have laughed so hard. Is that Tazal? From the Volantis job. Maybe he's forgotten about that. You! I told you if I saw you again! Tazal! Isn't it funny how life brings all friends together? Now cut your fucking throats! Beska, what happened to the last man who threatened us? I crushed his testicles in my fist. He made sort of a wet popping sound. Where is he? Where's who? <laughs> Here, four hundred dragons. I guess you will keep the wise masters. And that's all you're getting. The bounty is eight hundred. You get four. It's more than you deserve. Oh shit, what's what are you gonna do, Silver? <laughs> <laughs> an asshole now we're all sell swords here we are nothing like you the lost legion are the blood of all Valyria. and we are done taking orders from whimpering pigs bloody hell six you too you just made a huge mistake to sell you two are going to be used to not bloody likely. The wise masters are in a tough pickle right now, so kidnap the venerable Bezak. Oh, he wouldn't take less than 800 gold dragons, <sighs> so he killed Bezak instead. Me? Luckily, we were there to deliver swift justice. So you steal the money and we get the blame. Ponte o senas, forjos me nomi jahoso kisikas. All right, who dies first? Who wants to dance to the end of my story? Kill them now! No one. Yeah, I was about to say, if you don't flip that table full, you're gonna fuck up. He's dead. He's dead. You owe me one. Oh, she saved your ass, motherfucker. <laughs> yes, she did. Oh my god. Come on, friend. the power of happening. Yeah. Oh, fuck you, Asher. Now it's your turn. Fuck that up. That was a nice fear, I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> oh, <Fuck>. Silver, man. <laughs> You had a nice Goldberg spear and then you had a fucking up to you. We make a good dance no, team, Jesus no. Christ. <laughs> that brothel in Norbert's. Yeah, it's like you guys are synchronized killers. Lost Legion won't stop until you and your friend yeah. are dead. All right, which one are you going to choose? <laughs> he busted his knee. <laughs> so 
I never chose the boss to me. Kill them both. Fucking all the gods are fire and fuck. Who the fuck is he? Oh damn. Do you feel better now fucking bringing Malcolm to your fucking rescue? <laughs> you could've- you could've actually died there, by the way, if, if Malcolm wasn't coming to get you. Come on. Uh, that's not how I got that. <laughs> I'd be laughing if you fucking forgot that thing too, bro. <laughs> You're like, oh yeah, fuck it. Those fucks gave us em an empty chest. Glad I found you, my boy. It's been far too long. <laughs> So now do you feel like, oh man, I should have left <laughs> I'm here to bring you home. <sighs> At least you left her as a badass, that's all that matters. A ransom's reward. Man, yeah, they would have attacked me either way. If I busted his knee, they, he would have told them to kill me. If if I killed him, they would have saw he was dead and would have attacked me anyway. Yep. Yep. You can tell by like because there was like a loading thing to that. Like, yeah, mm -hmm. it wasn't a major option. Yep. The important. I personally option, am happy. The important yeah. options in the chapter don't have a time limit on them. So yeah. Why the same thing was gonna happen. Yeah. I have right here, you fucking have the Lost Legion on you, so... Good job. That's how badasses work. That probably would've happened regardless. <laughs> yeah, but at least you left there as a fucking badass and not a pussy. <laughs> well, if you walk out of that- if you walk out when that many soldiers attack you, either way you're a badass. <laughs> yeah. Episode 2, The Lost Lords. <laughs> Foot was falling asleep. <laughs> hey! It's that dead guy! Oh, he's not you... dead. God damn it. Wait. <laughs> Does that mean I have to put him off the list? Give me a sec. Roderick is alive. All right, good job, so we're doing good so far. <laughs> we're down to four. Four dead people. Ah, ah, ah. I feel less of a fucking asshole now. But the thing is, how long is he going to live? He's already in really bad condition. Speak up, Silver. No oh, shit. That's far enough. I come from the twins bearing the dead of House Forrester. Lordly tarts from the looks of them. All right, we'll take them. Well, they're not free, are they? How much are you paying for them? So royally. You again? I, uh, Who I you was... got this time? Some poor peasant dressed up like a I, lord. Uh, a stable boy was... in this so of clothes. You did this at Duskendale. And you have the fucking stones to try it again. Oh, no, I... This house has suffered the loss of many good men. And you dare come here claiming to have forests for dead. They're forester. Look at the <sighs> colors. Fine, leave. <laughs> now! Fine! I'll dump him in the river then! <sighs> you come back here again, you won't be leaving! You got that? Aye, oh, I heard you! Oh, lousy sheep fucker. <clears throat> I'm sorry, sir. Oh shit, so we're, you can't fuck this up. <clears throat> Seven <hours. clears throat> what is it, sir? 
Which one's still alive? You there! Who are you? It's me. Roderick. Roderick? Roderick! Oh, for gods, it is you! It's Roderick. Sir? Fetch the maester! Hurry! Fetch the maester! Roderick! He is alive! I didn't fuck it up! Thank God, so because if you didn't escape, <laughs> you're, you're done. You, you go in that river, you're, you'll never be seen ever again. Yeah, really. Good job. My lord, you should not be awake. The milk of a puppy. Drink. Come now. Drink, my lord. Oh wait, we'll see all the dialogue first before I see something. Mm. Roderick! My lady! I am at a very delicate moment in the surgery. Please, I want to see my son. How is he? Will he live? Sir, my lady, I must insist that you leave. No, Roderick, what have they done to you? These wounds would have killed any other man. As it is, he may never walk again. Roderick? What's wrong with him? He drank the milk of a puppy. Please don't leave me. Not yet. He drugged me! That fuck! It was for your best, actually, Thor. Yeah, I know. But he's still a fuck. Yeah, fuck the Maester. I agree. If I was Asher, I would've killed him before being passed out. Exactly. You would've spit that shit in his face. And now he fucking tied me up in medical bandages, this piece of shit. Hmm. Now is your road to redemption, Silver. Are you gonna ever walk again? Mm. Morning, Thalia. Good to see you again. Roderick, thank you. You fucked the picture up. God damn. I lost you. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to hurt you. Are you alright? Alright, I should not say How bad is it? Hugs for all. Leg may never fully heal. And your face. These wounds will heal, Talia. I know. You'll be your old self before we know it. Roderick, there's something you need to know. Ethan is dead. Ethan? Bruce Bolton's bastard came here and threatened to take me away. Ethan dragged me. And that monster put a blade through his throat. Ethan? How could this happen to him? I can't believe he's gone. Me neither. We're planning to honor Ethan in the grove, alongside father. And now mother wants me to write this song for the funeral. I'm oh gonna make Ramsey God. pay silver. <laughs> and oh, probably tell also, me not in this not in this condition. <laughs> then don't lie to me. Mother will understand. been chaos here since he died. We have White Hill soldiers stationed in our courtyard. Even the small folk don't feel safe. You need to show everyone who this house belongs to. They need a lord. 
You're still a hero to them. If you lead, others will follow. I know you still need time to heal, but... Be fine, Talia. The Council's meeting in the Great Hall right now, actually. Nobody expects you there, but if you think you're ready... I want to go. Can you even stand? They could use your leadership. But if you're not ready... I guess we'll see. I missed you, brother. I'm gonna fall on my face. Don't fall. I'm gonna fall on my face. No. I know you can. You're doing good. Fall on your face. Fall on your face. Fuck it. Fuck it. Oh, okay. Not on my no, face. But... <laughs> no man has ever truly fallen. Why'd you do that? I won't let anyone see you like this. No one can see the silver. I was rolled in on a corpse car. The damage is done. But you're the lord of the house now. You must appear strong, solid. You can't do that on the floor. It's a long way to the Great Hall. We can't risk you falling where others can see. Take my hand. Let me help you. Thank you, Talia. Ready? That's it. I chose that same option too, but I always wonder, like, would he actually would have made it there by himself? <laughs> probably. He probably would have yeah. made it by himself, but... Everyone will be so glad to see <laughs> Looking at this, I don't think he could. <laughs> but. Fight for life. Oh, who am I playing as now in this? Oh. Well, is it King's Blind? Oh, okay. Alright. So, this is where you make Garrett a badass, and if you fuck up Silver, it's gonna cost you throughout the whole fucking game. <laughs> Cause he's on his own now. <laughs> Riding Pona to the wall. So this is the scent of the night's watch. The wall. Always wanted to see it, but not like this. Return at the gate. Fuck D man right now. Hey, what do you say? Oh, you invited us to a party. Fuck yeah, shit. You'll we'll be playing something more important, which is you the story of Garrett and how he's gonna go badass today. Like it was built by giants, doesn't it? You're new, here to take the black. Mm. Yeah, it's huge. You it. I need to speak to the Lord Commander. We uh, don't have one right now. It's Frostfinger you want. He'll get you sorted out. Which one's Frostfinger? 
That grizzled old prune over there. Says us new recruits are all dead men. But don't let him scare you. <laughs> That's just his way. You seem nice. That's <laughs> not so good round here. You fight like a girl. A wogling girl, maybe. Alright, so I'm just gonna give you a hint. I played a lot of shit in this fucking place and I made myself look like a fool. Hopefully, you don't do the same. What's in these barrels? It's pitch. Dump it off the wall and it'll burn the wildlings down to their fucking bones. Your frost finger, you recruits, you come, you train. Gary Tuttle, nephew to Duncan Tuttle, Castellan of Ironrath. Gary Tuttle of Ironrath. And how does a Castellan's nephew get himself sent to the wall? You're a thief, a raper. You abandon your post, or do you just fancy dying someplace cold? I killed the men who murdered my family. Then you know how to fight, at least. And you're no liar, either. Sir? From Duncan Tuttle, Castellan of House Forester. My uncle wrote to the Knights. <laughs> he goes on for a bit, but then he asks us to make you a ranger. As if it's a knighthood. So you see, Tuttle, I know all about you. You are a killer. Even if you are man enough to own up to it. Yes, sir. Now then, you'll start your training in the morning. But today, you need a cot and a cloak. Understood. Oh, and Tuttle, sooner or later, the Night's Watch will be your death. When it comes, try to make it quick. Hmm. <laughs> What do you think of Frostfinger? He is, uh... He thinks he's intimidating, but not really. He won't faze you. Looks like CC is annoyed we're broadcasting. What do you say? So it looks like my broadcast is going to go on for a while, so maybe T should go to sleep. Yeah. I say he's dead, and they've dressed up some peasant in his place. Fill me up, would you? And bring you some salted pork while you're at it. Fill yourself up, you lazy fuck. <laughs> is that him? Has to be, doesn't it? He's hideous. <laughs> Had a run in with Walder Frey, did you? And he's leaning on a girl. Should have buried him with the corpses. <laughs> Real shame about your leg, oh, Lord. Lord. Don't let go of your sister now. <laughs> <laughs> oh, boy. So I guess if I didn't take my sister's help, then they would just make fun of my appearance and not the fact that business in the great hall. They uh that I'm leaning on her. Nope. I mean yep, yeah. Move 
overside, soldier. I'm quite comfortable, thank you. And I don't think you're gonna make me. I wonder what's weaker. Your legs? Or this house? Oh shit. This is Roderick Forrester. You will address him as my lord. I'm not gonna reply to <laughs> He actually chose the dragon. He chose the option that I thought wouldn't get me killed. <laughs> <laughs> I love whenever the triangle option is a thing. But that third scene is actually pretty funny. <laughs> So like, if I speak up and insult him, he'll, he's probably just gonna kill me and my sister right there. So. Yeah, but you are the lord to be at this moment because you killed the other lord. I'm just saying. It doesn't matter what you think. I was chosen as sentinel. My lords. Roderick. F U C K I N G. Come join us. Hi, C C. You should have told us the Lord needs Yeah, C C. If you want to be educated on how good the show is, why don't you just watch this? <laughs> yeah, really. And watch Silver Fucked Up. I've already gotten four people killed. It's good. It's good to see you awake, Lord Roderick. We didn't expect you so soon. The maester said it would be weeks before you were walking, if you walked again at all. It was highly probable. I told you he'd be up and about. I'm not here to talk about my oath. Perhaps we should get started. Yes, let's. Dahlia's told me the state of our house. Then you know our situation is grim, my lord. No thanks to your sentinel. He's been getting the White Hill soldiers drunk. It keeps them off their guard. They think you're a bloody fool. My lord, please. Oh, oh, I'm a fool. At least I was there by Ethan's side when Ramsey stole them. I've told you. I was keeping an eye on the Bolton soldiers. You should have been protecting your lord. Now Ethan's dead. And Ryan a hostage. And one of you got to get him back. Nothing. Because it's because you have no balls. I am your lord. Of course. Apologies, my lord. The White Hills have my brother. We fight amongst ourselves, but we should be fighting them. We'd need an army to win that fight. If we don't have one. Not anymore. Then find me one, Sir Royal. That's no mm -hmm. simple command, my lord. Most of our men fled after Lord Ethan was killed, and our allies are either dead or too afraid of the Boltons to help them. You forget the Glenmores. You'd be wed to Elena Glenmore already, if not for the war. And her father is no coward. Now that you've returned, the marriage can proceed as planned. The marriage? Well, much has changed. The Glenmores may no longer desire the union. Lady Elena will decide... Right, so this is very important, Silver. You gotta... Your betrothed is on her way here... You gotta get the Glenmores on your side. She's coming now. He's barely recovered. Our patrols are coming to Ironrath. Yes, my son. A raven arrived this morning. Lady Elena is eager to see you. If she still wishes to marry, we'd have the allies we so desperately need. Their army would become oath-bound to Roderick. And we could burn High Point to the fucking ground. Yes, this marriage could be our chance. Of course, we must hope Lady Elena still wants to marry Roderick. Talking about a marriage, not an ironwood contract. I'm certain I can convince her. She's always been fond of you. Just be careful not to push Elena too hard. If Elena does come to Ironrath, she'll see those soldiers in the courtyard. We starve them out, and they'll have to leave. 
I'd rather they be lying around drunk than setting the stables on fire. My lord, perhaps you could put an end to this tiresome dispute. Just hand away. We could keep them fed, but take away their wine. Well, that'd be something at least. Good. Uh, well, there's nothing more to discuss. Okay. Maester, it's time to light the ironwood torches. Yes, my lady. Welcome back, my lord. It's good to be back. Gregor last lit these torches when his mother passed. Ironwood doesn't burn easily, he told me. But foresters have a way. And now we light them for him and Ethan. How is your song coming? Ethan always helps me with music. It's not the same without him. I can help you with it. That's all right. The last time you sang, all the dogs in the kennel started howling. But thank you. Everyone knows how much Ethan meant to you. I'm sure it will honor him well. Such a good story. Above yep. Elena, I've sent a letter to Nera. The Tyrells hold much influence over the Glenmores. I don't know where things stand between her and That's where the fucking show has seven seasons. God damn. Strength of mind. It's hey, it's Mira again. If it's not the flowers, it's the food, the tables, I think. Your favorite character, I see. Uh, yeah, Is one of the letter to the orphanage. Yeah. Yes, my lady. It's nearly done. Make sure to tell them we'll send all the leftovers. <sighs> and mm, something nice after that. We will make a sizable donation in the name of King Joffrey. A little presumptuous of you, Mira. But I like it. They'll be very grateful. I'll make a large donation. Mine was stolen. Can you imagine? I wonder who it was. Oh, are there any more invitations to send, or are we finally done with the cursed things? One more. An invitation to Sir Maynard. Ah, yes. One of my father's favorite drinking companions. <laughs> I have a letter for Lady Mira Forrester. Thank you. My pleasure, Lady Mira. What is it, Mira? It's from my mother. Uh -oh. She asked that I help ensure Roderick's betrothal to Elena Glenmore remain intact. How can you do that from a thousand leagues away? Ah, it's my help she's after, isn't it? She's a bold woman. Most would shy away from asking such things. Of course. She knows you're very influential. She's not entirely wrong. A letter from me could encourage the Glenmores to honor the betrothal. But it wouldn't be very discreet. You'd be forcing their hand. That isn't the way I do things. You pushed me before and you saw the results. I'm sure your brother can secure the marriage on his own. I'd better get going. Mira, we'll talk more later. <laughs> yeah. Uh, this yeah, lady's not gonna. This, this lady's not gonna get me anywhere, is she? No, but the queen is. <laughs> 
I was gonna say like you know I think you're asking a little bit too much silver. Maybe she would have helped you if you didn't ask her the first time. Oh, okay. We have our first major choice of the chapter. I could finish yeah. the letter to Sir Maynard. Or I could forge a letter to Lana Glenmore. I think there's kind of an obvious answer in this, but what's your thought? If I forge the letter, the letter, mm. she's going to be mighty pissed. Ooh, Marjorie, right? Yeah. Marjorie is going to be mighty pissed. Mm hmm. Any other option? Finish the letter to Sir Maynard. That means all the wedding invitations are done, and Marjorie will be happy. Well, what are you thinking personally? And I'll look use my input afterwards. I'm thinking to the more help your family oriented option is to forge the letter. And that is also the sneakier option. But probably the more correct option would be to finish the letter to stay on uh, her good side. And the thing is, over what happened in the last episode when you played, you know, correctly. I got four people killed. Yeah. Yeah, so I think you might want to jump the gun on this one. Just for the fact that, like, do you see Lady Marjorie helping you in the Fable future? No, but it'll be even less likely that she'll help me if I forge her letter. Yeah, but I'm seeing the fucking, you know, the changes. And, like, you know, I don't think she's going to be any help to you at the moment. And plus, it'd make it more fun if you, I guess, if you do forge a letter, add more fucking elements to the game. Uh, you're going to get me killed, Pika. I'm, we will see. You're going to fucking we get me see. killed. We will see. I just don't need to play Baldi in this one. If you, you want to play correct, then, you know, I don't know how many you're going to get killed. So that shit up, like, you know. All right, let's see. Dear Lady Elena. Oh, dearest Lady Elena. Not always. Depends on what kind of story I want. I want. Yeah. Because honestly, Silver, I didn't choose the, um, the Forge a Letter option myself. And I still got into some crazy shit. Uh, hmm. So I'm kind of wondering, like, if this doesn't even get you into some crazy shit. Hmm. Mira, Lady Marjorie sent me to pick up the letters. Elena of House Glenmore. I've never heard of the Glenmores. Oh, crap, dude. That jumps good. I know you're very busy with Lady Marjorie and... and all that's happening with your family. But I was hoping we could talk. If you don't mind. Go ahead then. Well, it's. We really should get these letters sent first. Do you need any help with them? I've got them. Oh. <laughs> Seems like she wants to tell you something. I'm gonna say Sarah, like for the most part, is probably one of your best friends, so she should probably be on her best side. Right. They say it'll be a short order. Oi, fuckhead. But speaking of friends. But you're in my spot. So move. Most of you will be dead within the year. Frost finger these bloody speeches. If you want to survive, watch. Listen. The war was erected over eight thousand years ago to defend the realm from wild things. 
about this girl I used to fuck now and again. Face like a queen, tits like a whore. Turned out she was married to some lord. He tried to stop mm. with this. <laughs> I was stuck in here instead. <laughs> like, are you just talking about this while the guy is like trying to say something to everybody? Sure. Once, will you? What's your problem? I'm sick of Finn bragging about all the girls he's fucked. And what diacrom are you here for? Fucking potatoes. <laughs> potatoes? <laughs> Oh yeah, there's only one option. Potatoes. <laughs> 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 Fucking potatoes. You got, you got it, you got it. Nobody cares, Steve. Got to take the potato, fucker. Oh my god. Sister. Fucking talk about my sister, alright? Well, I got sent here for that. Who in seven hell? Damn, so good. The seven hell silver. You're fucking out. Sorry, sir. It was my fault. Alright, let's see what you do here. Covering for your new brothers already, are you? Oh. Garrett Tuttle here wants to be a ranger. So we can go north of the wall and die on some wildling spear. But what he wants. Doesn't mean shit. So today you're all gonna show me what you're made of. Can you swing a sword? Shoot a bow? Are you strong? Those who do well might just survive. The rest of you. Rustfinger. I need a word. Sounds slow. Go on, get started. Yeah, he's a really good character. Best of luck, Tuttle. <laughs> Seems like you got some friends. <laughs> Here we go. Again. Who's up? Alright, so this is the part where you make it or break it, Silver. You either show that you're fucking a badass, or a fucking, I don't know, noob. <laughs> Alright, well, first things first. Let's see if I can pet the horse. This is my horse, my horse is amazing. I think this is where you'd be like, WHY IS IT BLACK?! Oh, this is the archery. Okay. Yep. I'm gonna tell you something for a fact that I embarrassed myself at this part of the game, so... <laughs> Like that guy. <laughs> like, yeah, like that guy. <laughs> Let me show you. Oh, damn. All right, let's see if you can aim worth a wildling's ass. <laughs> Shoot the targets I tell you to. Let's start right, don't miss. Middle dummy, center of the chest. You can follow orders at least. Next bolt, the left target, head. Middle dummy on the chest. Good. Bullseye. Right target, chest. Left target. Not bad. Center. Good. Between the eyes. Like the chess. One less wildling. Not there. Center between the eyes. Uh, 
Nice. Finn thinks he's so bloody clever. <coughs> if a real wildling got his hands on him, ah, he's just a bully. Aye, he is. That's why I took this. Swiped it right off him. Don't tell, all right? I don't think he'd take it kindly. I won't tell anyone. <laughs> I knew I could trust you. Gotta keep it a secret. Seven hundred feet tall and eight thousand years old. The wall. Yes, there's is there a way to do the sword training? Ah, there we go. Yep. Don't embarrass yourself here, Silver. I did pretty good with the crossbow. I should be okay with this too. Yep. You grab a practice sword. Cause you gotta impress, you know, Senpai Johnson. Hmm. I'll be sparring with you today. But the thing is, what? Remember, sword. I. But a sword's still a sword. Oh my God, sword. <laughs> Rusty ass blade. Get off me, you bloody ox. <coughs> Got lucky. <laughs> That's me. There's only one more. This one more challenge. Nah, no. no, it's gotta go up. Oh, or wait, is there? No, check around. To do? Yeah, check around. Cause I did. I pet the horse. I did the sword. I did the. Oh. There's there's more to that area if you don't know. Scrawny, aren't you? See if you can carry one of these barrels over to the wheat. Right. I can do this. Want some help? <laughs> Show me your strength, Silva. And don't shit your pants. Kept it balanced. <laughs> I was about to say, don't make that guy look like, make you look like a fool. Thinking steward for you. We can help Frostfinger wash his cock. <laughs> if the thing hasn't frozen off. You got the string. I'll be a ranger. Just you watch. Wait, wash his cock. <laughs> Yo, 
pathetic. Fuck off. You didn't even try. A crossbow's a coward's weapon. Besides, I could hit that dummy from here with my... Where is it? Where the fuck's my knife? If someone has it, I'll cut their fucking balls off. How the fuck should I know? You were the last one I showed it to. Well, you and... It was you. What? You little fucking thief. It weren't me. Finn, don't. <gasps> Give me my knife. I don't have it, I swear. Out of my way. Got it. Do something. Oh, no. Just calm down. Fight. Oh! I won't say it again. Step the fuck aside. Oh, shit, Silver. <laughs> oh, shit. Oh, shit, here we go. Fight, fight. Yeah, get here they go again. Fight, 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 fight. Don't lose, Silver. Oh shit! One. What is going on here? Two. Three. Oh. No longer has hands. I swear I don't have it. He must have hit it. <laughs> and you? I expected better, Tuttle. Instead, I find you doing this. On your first bloody day of training. Sir, I... Not another word. You clearly need a few days scrubbing the latrines. Crossfinger, I need another man to top the that wall. That wasn't my fault. Fine. Let him freeze his balls off. I'll deal with this one. Get off! Mind your fucking manners. <laughs> you, come with me. <laughs> you like that backhand? <laughs> <laughs> and he reveals the knife. Nice. I like how there's no su surveillance in this fucking area. <laughs> yeah, really. Yes, so good. I love King's Landing in the afternoon. The sun just barely kisses your skin. You used to love this place. Remember, we'd come listen to the musicians in the evening with Lady Marjorie? You're right. It's beautiful here. Just through here. What are you doing? You'll see. Queen Cersei's finest wine. Come on, sit down. I hope you've got another one of those. <laughs> I never took you for a lush mirror. <sighs> Sadly, it's just the one. Mr. Robert. <laughs> a little won't hurt. It's just... What a wonderful day, Silver. You and your fucking girlfriend sipping on wine. <laughs> oh, yeah. So I wanted to let you know I'm pregnant and I'm drinking wine. Well, and you're the mother. Wait, what? Wait. <laughs> to keep it to yourself you can tell no one i want to trust you i swear i won't tell a soul promise her that you won't tell anybody but you don't have to fucking promise she became pregnant it was a disgrace to her family 
my true name is Sarah. Flowers. You're a bastard? Yes. I'm fortunate to be where I am. I know that. But I always have to hide. I don't want to hide from you as well. What is your father? Who is he? I don't know. My mother died not long after my birth. I'm so sorry, Sarah. Well, it's just... I don't want to be Sarah Flowers forever. I need Lady Marjorie to arrange a marriage for me. It's my chance at a life. A family of my own. Have you tried asking Lady Marjorie? It's not something I can simply ask for. I need her favor first. I know she often confides in you. And I was hoping that maybe sometime when she comes. Should I try to help Sarah, or is asking three yes, times in a row bad? Me Give me a to Wait, help Sarah how? From you, she wants a favor from Marjorie. Please, Mira, I can't make that promise, Sarah. Mm. It's not that. Simple. Might as well. You'll just have to find another way, Sarah. I would, but maybe you're right. Because Sarah is somebody you want to help, so. Much greater than mine. With what happened to your brother, your father. You need this more than I do. Because you know her story now. A conspiracy of handmaidens. Lord hmm. Tyrion, my lord. Ladies. Uh oh. If you mean to drink, it's your money. <laughs> Dwarf McGee. We're just enjoying the sunshine. Is that what they're calling wine these days? Care. <laughs> I think this one. I should have just said care to join us. That would be the funny answer. Quite expensive for handmaiden. I'd be curious to know how you got hold of it. Since I'm certain my sister didn't give it to you, she won't even share with me. Though that's hardly surprising. We found it. Found it? Where? In that bush. Lord Tyrion. Uh... Strange it should find its way into a bush. If Cersei knew you had this wine, she'd drown you in it. Yet you're worried about an alliance with me? You need to know what risks are worth taking. Things have changed. My father has recently taken an interest in Ironwood. Most of the Royal Navy went up in green flames. It must be rebuilt. He insisted I handle things myself. I'm on my way to meet representatives of Lord Whitehill. Lord Whitehill? He's hired a pair of merchant lords to broker for his house. It would seem Lord hmm. Whitehill wishes to sell the Ironwood right out from beneath your family. I don't know much about the man, but judging by his up-jumped sellsword, negotiating with him won't be pleasant. You can't let that happen. Why do you think I brought it up? Come with me. These men think I have no choice but to deal with them. Imagine their surprise when I bring a forester to the table. It might be the first fun I've had in months. <laughs> My lady. <laughs> oh, this should be good. Yep. This should be good. What do you think about theory now? I like Tyrion, but watch me fuck this up. Oh, if you definitely fuck this up, man. <laughs> it's a wrap. Because <laughs> this game does give you second chances. She's a lady, Lord Andros. My name is Mira Forrester. Mira Forrester. Why are you here? 
A fair question. We were told we would be speaking to Lord Tyrion alone. This is no place for a forester. Perhaps you should ask Lord Tyrion. I asked you. Andros? She's here for the same reason you are. Ironwood. I'm sorry, Lady Mira, but we've already spoken to Lord you Tyrion. You spoke, I listened. Lady Mira Fuck you, Andrew. persuaded me to consider her offer first. Now, if you'll excuse us. You're going to dismiss? You can't do this. I assure you, I can. This is a mistake, my lord. I don't think so. Lord Whitehill will hear of this. He's not a man to take such matters lightly. Nor am I. That's enough, Andros. There's no need to make threats. You have no idea, Lord Tyrion. Lord Tyrion, do let me know when you've come to a decision. I'd like the opportunity to change your mind. Lady Mira. Good day, gentlemen. Fuck you, pass <laughs> fat piece of shit. Ah, well, that was fun. Now, as for your offer, what did you have in mind? My lord? Did you feel like you fucked up so much? Not yet. <laughs> so far, so good. Had a reason for coming here. I know it wasn't just to entertain me. My family can supply all that the crown needs. You're suggesting the foresters be our sole supplier of ironwood. Lord Whitehill will be left in the cold. If he wishes to sell to the crown. He'll have to do so through your family. You will have him at your mercy. Or you'll bring your houses to open war. You do know that's a possibility, don't you? With you as a partner, that won't happen. As Master of Coin, I can do many things. But sending an army to the north is not one of them. However, I know your house needs this. I'll consider the arrangement. Of course, you'd have to do something for me in return. Don't worry. The terms will oh, you got lucky, sir. What is it you want? You'll know soon enough. We have an understanding, then. Thank you, my lord. This will either be very good for both of us, or very bad for you. For your sake, I hope it's the former. Hmm. My lady. Yeah, that's over. I feel like I didn't <laughs> fuck up. Yep. You did pretty good, but like, he warned you, he said, hey, you can fuck up in the future. Keep that yeah, in mind. Yeah, I know. Asha. It's my husband. <laughs> my boy. It's my husband. <laughs> Your husband do. <laughs> no love for Malcolm. So... It's my husband. <laughs> you can have Ash all you want. I think that's good. Hopefully she doesn't kill me. <laughs> oh, I'm supposed to walk. Okay. It towing in my seriously. Yeah, you better watch out over it. They were headed. Cause you. I know another way. Oh. Oh. If you're to save your house, you'll need more than the two of us. You'll need an army. That's why you're here, isn't it? To hire one. An army of cell swords and a man to lead them. You hear what I'm saying, boy? I can lead an army. I know you can. I've always known it. Your father was blind to that. None of that matters without swords to hire. Oh, I can lead an army. Are engaged. What about Croft? One-eyed Croft with the second son. They're all with the Targaryen girl now. 
but Croft owes me a favor. I'm pretty sure he hates you, actually. No, <laughs> he'll help us. Mm. I'll make sure of it. And how are you going to do that? We didn't part on the best of terms. I'll convince him. Maybe with my knee to his balls. There are other ships about to get <laughs> real. If you oh, okay, I was gonna say this, <laughs> if you're charming, I was about to say you know, actually would probably say that though. Because all bad asses have a good sense of humor, so this is gonna remember that. Unfinished business there. I don't want to talk about it. We can't afford any distractions. It's not your problem. It'll be fine. I promise. It's fine. I trust you, Veska. I shouldn't have said anything. I said I was with you, little brother. And I meant it. Ponte Renas! Tukai Hinojosi Botai you could have potentially fucked up. Dun 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 Oh Fucking we oh man. They won't stop looking for us. It's a long journey to Marino. Uh, uh, I hope you're ready. Aww. <laughs> yeah, it was a smell cool, god damn it. Guess we'll find out. Good lad. Either we cross the narrow sea with an army at our backs. House Forrester will not survive to see the winter. Are you trying to impress Malcolm now? Fucking oh yeah, I'm a fucking changed man, huh? Piece of eh, shit. Not fully. <laughs> not fully. Besides, I figured if I try to kill the guard, that draws the attention of the rest of them. It could have been a swift kill, you know? Maybe. Alright, we're back with Mira. So far, so far, so good you're doing in the Mira route, but one step up can, you know, have you dead. Yeah. That is a guaranteed dead. I mean, you don't want to piss off the queen or anything. <laughs> Alright, what's going on? Are you gonna call out? Are you gonna peek? Huh. Seems good. Hello. Are you gonna bust in? Are you gonna call out? Or are you gonna open this shit? Hello? <laughs> Oh, you're gonna bust in! Ah! Uh -oh. <laughs> uh oh. Mira. Everything's still here. Somebody broke into my damn room. Who did? Who? 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 
could it be? The milkman? Maybe. Not looking at the note yet. Could it be... Uh... Marjorie? Could it be... Your best Could buddy, be Sam? A nigger. Oh my god, somebody black in this game. <laughs> no way. I have information that will aid you with the inn. Meet me in the gardens at midnight. Uh oh. I have information that will aid you. <laughs> the thing is, Silver, is that coming from a friend? Or a foe. I don't know. There's been no news from Lyra. She may not have found a way to help with Elena. We'll be fine. I pray you're right. Lord Glenmore's army could keep us from ruin. But Elena must still agree to the marriage. <clears throat> My lord, you might remind Lady Elena that in terms of. Alright, so over you have to play really good at this part. Very much a man. Maester. What I mean. If the two of you wanted to produce an heir, it should not be a concern. That was never in question. <laughs> of course not. I just meant... Enough, Maester. Just remember that you'll want to speak to <laughs> I don't mean to burden you. I'm with a man. Such a man. Thank you, Cormac. This advice well paid. I'm just so glad to see you home. My lord, she's here. Thank you, mommy. <laughs> All right, let's see if I fuck this up. All right, so I'm just gonna say, if you do fuck this up, it kind of shows how you are with women in real life. So, oh fuck Hopefully. you! <laughs> fuck yeah, you, Pika. That, I'm adding that extra pressure on you, so you hopefully you don't fuck. Right. To see you. Where are courtesies? It's good to see you. I know, I'm just handsome. <laughs> God damn it. Wait. So, here we She's are. She's kind of cute. I'm glad to see you up and about. You look as. <laughs> as soon as I heard you were alive, my father suggested I wait, but I can't believe it's been two years. Your brother's name day gift. We danced until the sun came out. <laughs> but now your house prepares for a funeral. And you. Tell me the truth, Roderick. How are you really? And please be honest with me. I don't mean to pry, but. I won't lie. Every day is a battle. I can only imagine. So much has changed since we were children. Playing hide and seek in the grove. And... <laughs> so easy to find. We always hid behind the same tree. <laughs> Maybe I wanted you to find me. Hmm. <laughs> this is kind of sweet. Hang on. It is. When I arrived at Ironrath today, your courtyard was filled with soldiers. White Hill soldiers. They said some terrible things. The White Hills are your oldest enemies, Roderick. Why are they here? Has something happened? We weren't given a choice. Those soldiers are here at the orders of the Boltons. That's horrible. Bruce Bolton must mean to occupy Ironrath. No, he just wants to... Showed our loyalty. I'm going to be honest with you, Roderick. I have always looked forward to our marriage. But in light of all that's happened to your family, I... Oh, no, you are... Questioning the wisdom of our you are not backing out of this, bitch. I'm inclined to agree with him. 
until I receive <laughs> Marjorie Tyrell. You're making me look bad. Lady Marjorie suggests in the kindest of terms that we go through with the marriage. And as you can imagine, a suggestion from a future queen is difficult to ignore. Do you oh. know why Lady Marjorie would send this to me? That's what happens. She and I have never corresponded. Yet now she writes me directly. Mira must have asked her to intervene. I didn't know your sister carried such influence. You act as if you had no part in this. I feel manipulated, Roderick. A house like mine can't refuse a suggestion from Marjorie Tyrell. I'm being forced to marry you, Roderick. Is that truly what you want? Would you do that to me? Oh shit, are you fucking up, Silver? Oh. Of course not, Lena. You're free to choose. <sighs> Thank you. I was afraid you'd refuse to back down, but you must care about me more than that. Let us stand together, Roderick. I will tell my father our betrothal stands. Yes. Deepest apologies, my lord. I tried to stop him, but so, he... the rumors are true. Yeah! Right to just... And if it isn't Elena Glenmore. You're not still married. You're welcome, by the way, Thor. What? Our houses will be You're welcome, by the way. <laughs> and we will stand Thank proudly you. beside them. Can I change your mind? You can do much better than this cripple. And my son Griff needs a bride. Get out. Now. How rude of you. Your mother's the one who invited me here. What the you are, true. motherfucker? I sent a raven to Lord Whitehill about letting Brian attend the funeral. But I never expected him to barge in like this. Oh, she practically begged me to come. Of course, I'd want the same in her position. The youngest son hung to mourn his dead father and brother. Brian belongs at that funeral. With his family. Not until I'm certain that you know the place. Lord Ramsay ordered your family to obey my soldiers until my son Griff arrives from Harrenhal. Now, I hear you're ordering them around. It makes me start to question your obedience. Blood, enough of this. Fine. Let's talk this through. How about I talk and you fucking listen? So, here's the idea. We're going to make a fresh start, you and I. Your brother Ethan called me Craven, but you're a different man entirely, aren't you? So, if you want Ryan at that funeral, show Lady Elena you respect your betters. Oh, should you see what I mean, sir? One called me Craven. My shiny ring. Just do it, Roderick. You don't want to end up like your brother, do you? Please, it means nothing when we get to see Ryan again. Go on. Uh, Don't do it. Kiss it. Don't. Please. I'm not kissing your ring. I don't give a fuck if you get killed. You're not kissing that guy's ring. Oh heck no, brother. No, please. And because of your defiance, I'm taking what should have been mine in the first place. The other half. Of the Ironwood. You Park. can't Ramsey do that. Ramsey Snow. I said. know what Ramsey said. I'm saying something else. As of today, I harvest Ironwood from wherever the fuck I please, and you can't do a bloody thing to stop me. Careful, Whitehill. How's Glenmore backs us? And we're backed by the Boltons. So you'll be getting flayed together. Well, I have what I came for. I'll leave you to your business. Pika, did you just fuck me? I didn't fuck you at all. <laughs> you told me to refuse. Way, Are you seriously gonna kiss his ring finger? Like, honest talk? Are you, were you actually going to- Were you gonna actually, like, lose your pride? To this fat fuck. I want to tell you something. Since you've convinced her, you can say anything you want. <laughs> you, you have people backing you up now. We 
can't afford to show weakness, mother. Nah, no one's oh, here, mother. No, no, heck no. <laughs> You're the Lord, motherfucker. <laughs> what do you mean, what? Oh my god. Dude, were you <laughs> contemplating getting his drink bigger? <laughs> like, on a talk. Like, I would have kneeled, yes. I would have. Alright, time, time to be a badass. I'm going to kill that man. Alright. What are you gonna say? Oh shit. Because he said that, you better live up to that, Silver. Because. <laughs> There's no half C in the or whatever fucking crap. Yeah. You can't be fighting. But I'm sorry, I don't know, like, you, where, where are you gonna kiss him if I didn't tell you? Because, <laughs> honestly, I, I, I didn't choose not to. Or... Oh, John Snow. Senpai. I'm Garrett. Finger told me about you. Seem to think you might be trouble. He doesn't know me. He's seen a thousand recruits pass through those gates. He knows you better than you think. He said you fought for the North with the foresters. You were there at the twins. Yes. Do you think you know me? Three thousand men, and not one could save my brother. Why didn't anyone fight back? Why didn't they rally to their king? Nobody was expecting it. One minute we were drinking and telling jokes, and the next, Ray's cut us open. Those cowards. Couldn't face Rob like men, so they stabbed him in the back. They couldn't even give him an honorable death. Let him die fighting. Your brother would have won the North's freedom. He deserved to be king. He was good at it. He was good at everything. Now the Freys command River Run, and the Boltons are wardens of the North. After what they did, it's not right. They murdered my family. I should have been there. I keep thinking if I'd been there, I could have done something. But chances are, I'd be dead too. Whatever I once thought, no place is here. With the night's watch. I love these fucking Scottish accents, man. There are those here who will hate you. They're very good, let it. Southerners who will call you traitor. Northerners who will call you craven. Some won't even have a reason. They'll hate you anyway. We can't do anything about it. I like their attires. I know. Look badass. Why would they hate me? You're different than them. Most of the men are criminals forced to take the black. You were a squire for a noble house. What happened to you today happened to me more times than I can count. I learned there's nothing more important than having brothers you trust. Oh. oh, I got to walk. Yay! Cool. Don't fall off the standing out <laughs> over the horizon time, with my husband. I heard you want to be a <laughs> I'm like 10% gay, <laughs> but that's okay. To find the North Grove. The North Grove? <laughs> be serious. Oh, shit. Old Nan used to tell us a tale about ice dragons and trees tall as the sky. 
Did you really have to mention North Grove? Or... <laughs> what does it matter to you? It's important to House Forest. <laughs> Uh oh. I trust you. Not many recruits want to be rangers. They'd rather stay here where they think they'll be warm. Yep. But Mance Raider marches on I don't blame you. Hundred thousand wildlings. I've seen them for myself. The men here are murderers, thieves, rapers. You won't like most of them, and they won't like you. But they're your brothers now. Can you stand with them? Fuck you yes. see past your differences. If you ask me to, I will. Glad to hear it. Walk alone in the unknown. I'd say you'll get used to the cold, but you won't. Come on. Better get by a fire. You we promise. <laughs> <laughs> you, you, you don't want to end up like Frost Finger, I'm just saying. Like, I know. Don't fuck that up. That guy's a, a bitch. Yeah. Alright, who am I playing as now? Oh, Mira. Ooh, Mira. Is she gonna be murdered? That's for you to decide. Well, maybe she's gonna get an ally. Oh, she's gonna be taken. Or maybe she'll be raped. Actually, I don't want to think about that because that's not cool. Oh, hello. That's not the uh, boy. Uh oh. I thought, I thought it was the cool boy. Wait, what? At this time of night. Is this a twist? I was just headed back to my room. It's a little late to be out, isn't it? Do you know what this uniform means? It means you serve the Lannisters. So, you best get yourself back to your chambers. And I mean, now. If you don't like it, you can take it up with the commander. Can't I just stay a while longer? Please. Did you not hear me? At ease, Lucan. The lady is with me. Yes. So oh, shit. Enjoy your night. I hope he wasn't bothering you, my lady. I'm Jamie. Thank you. It was my pleasure. Baby. You got my note. That was you. I'm very glad you could make it. I've been wanting to talk to you for quite some time. Why all this secrecy? If you wanted to talk to me, you could have asked. It never seemed the right time. Sorry about this, Mira. But you've made enemies of the wrong people. Uh oh. A handmaiden should know her place. What people? I'll make this quick if that helps. <laughs> you fucked up, Bilber? <gasps> um, Silver? <laughs> um. <laughs> No. No, finger and eyes not working. Oh, it's your boy. He's drowning. Oh, you dumb fuck. 
Don't fuck oh. with a forester. Oh shit, you're increasing the kill cal calendar. <laughs> I'm assuming that's what gonna have a repercussion. Why would you do that? What are you doing here? I heard yelling. You did what you had to do, Lady Mira. You had no choice. I need to get back. Someone might see me. I'll take care of you. I know a few places in Fleabot. No one will ever find him. We should talk about this later. I'll find him. Everything all right, sir? <gasps> Damien, where are you? You you better hightail it, Silver. Yeah, really. You know the guards are still fucking here. Oh shh. I'm keeping the knife. Fuck it. Yeah, dude, you don't want to leave that evidence. Initiation completed. And this fucking chapter is still not over. What? I thought that'd be the end. Yeah, so did I. Oh, the funeral. I think this might be the end. I fucking couldn't Look at the have people Ryan you... here. Oh, what? <laughs> Would you rather have Ryan here and lose your pride? Or... <laughs> like, honestly? Honestly, yes. No Kid's too young. <laughs> I know, but he doesn't need to see this funeral. Like, honestly. Yes. Last time I saw you, you and my brother had almost started a war. Your father wanted to murder Russia for your little love affair, remember? But it was a long time ago. May we speak privately? My lady. Oh shit. Roderick, I came here because... I know how hard these past few days must have been for you and your family. I know my words probably mean nothing to you, but they're all I have. Thank you, Gwyn. I'm so sorry, Roderick. Your brother didn't deserve this. Neither of them did. Listen. I know my father is intent on using Ryan as a hostage, but I think he deserves some news of him. I know it's little consolation, but if I can offer you this... So you have news of Ryan? Yes, he's well. Not happy, but just know your brother is safe at High Point. I'm looking after him, but... What? The other day he said something that made me worry. He asked me if his father died because he was a coward. He asked if he was really a thief and a traitor, like my father says. I don't wish to upset you, but... I thought you should know. Please help him, Gwyn. Don't let him believe what your father tells him. I've been doing my best to set him right. But he is only a child. He feels forgotten. Alone. He's waiting for his family, but every day my father tells him they will never come. That they've chosen their pride over him. And with each passing day, those words start to sound like truth. I will get him back. He'll be with his family again. You tell him that. Of course. But if you truly want to bring Ryan home, this war has to end. You know that. We don't have to be enemies, Roderick. Hello, Gwyn. It's good to see you, Talia. I hope I can count on your discretion. Roderick. You should speak to mother. <laughs> mother. Come join me, Abbas. He should be here. He should be with his family. But instead, they send her. Gwyn came here on her own. She wanted us to know Ryan is okay. It's happening all over again. I can see it. My father's house was once mighty like this one, but his loyalty to the Targaryens cost us dearly. I watched as countless of our kin fell, 
saw our lands destroyed. Everything we clung to was ripped from our hands. I can't watch that same fate before this family. Oh, I'm gonna fuck them up. My children. I won't let that happen to us. You must be ready to defend us, Roderick. Your body may be damaged, but your spirit must be like iron. You let nothing stand in your way, do you understand? If you have to murder every last White Hill down to the babes in their beds, no matter what, you must do it. Promise me. I will kill anyone who stands in my way. I will do whatever it takes. Remember that. You must be ready. Promise me. Well, I'm gonna kill that man. Mother. Mira, I should even got it. Stand with us. Be a strong man. What a fuck man. I'm gonna kill them all. Yes. <laughs> I suppose we have to. <laughs> you and Asher. Fucking okay, just wipe them. I think Gwen means good. My father. Yeah, Maybe we'll yeah. see. He was everything. Yeah. Anything I ever wanted to be. He taught me what it is to be a lord. He was always kind. I never knew. He stood up to Ramsay Snow. He saved our sister's life and paid with his own. He was only a boy. But he had the heart of a man. Yeah. We honor Lord Gregor Forrester. He's a man. Such a man. From ice. Uh, iron, iron from ice. ice. <laughs> Father first. Yeah, choose one. Father, Daddy, Ethan, Daddy, Daddy, Ethan, Ethan, Daddy, Daddy. <laughs> you know, this wasn't supposed to even happen, Ethan. You know, <laughs> like this is sad to watch. I feel like there's there was no way to prevent it, though. You say no way, but mm. oh, look, beautiful, beautiful singing. Like an angel.
fucking beautiful song, man. Almost beautiful put the tear in my eyes. Song. It's making a grown man cry. Yep. Is this finally the end of the chapter, or is there still it more? It has to be. It has to be. It ha wait. The end is okay. nigh? Next time on Game of Thrones. Oh, thank God. What's going on? Roderick, you have to do something. Lord Whitehill's you get a has arrived. Griff Whitehill means nothing worse than a fourthborn with something to prove. It was bad enough when it was just the soldiers. We can't live with them under our roof. Form up and follow my lead. You'll be taking your vows. You too, Tuttle. Time to start proving you're a brother. Oh, the things we do for family. I wonder sometimes if it's worth it. All the sacrifices. Enjoy the wedding. How much further to Marine? A few days. If the Lost Legion doesn't catch up to us first. No. I overheard a couple of men whispering about. This is about how would you say overall you played this chapter? <laughs> I thought I did okay. Nobody, yeah. nobody important died except for the guard, but fuck the guard. He deserved it. My opinion. Was that a dragon? Don't fucking exist. I mean, they got extinct, I'm assuming. And there are your percentages. I would say. So, me and 24% <clears throat> of players forged Marjorie's letter. Me and 70% yep. of players refused to kiss Lord Whitehill's ring. Oh, you feel better now, Silver. <laughs> a little bit. Yeah. Me and 48% of players won Roderick's patrol to Elena Grim Grimmore. You know you can go down and the picture changes every time you... Oh, that's yeah. Cool ass picture. Yeah. Alright, so that's Forge the Letter. Kiss White Hills Ring. Mm -hmm. Patrol me and 95% of players stood up for Cotter after he stole Finn's knife. Good. And me and 90% of players killed Mira's attacker. So, for the most part, pretty on par with every, yeah. everyone. But apparently more people didn't get the, patro the patrol duel. And I was one of them. <laughs> it's actually hard, but you know you know why you got silver, actually? Because I forged the letter. Exactly. I never forged a letter, and I tried smooth talking and everything, and it just couldn't happen. And I'm like, God damn it, I'm pissed. <laughs> I almost want to replay the chapter. <laughs> but yeah, now now I know because I didn't forge it is the reason why I couldn't pass. But, mm. but everything else, man, good job. Because mm. I bet you if you kissed that fucking ring, it would have been like fucking 30%. I would have been like, fuck you, Silver. <laughs> you really want Brian at the fucking... Oh, well, uh... No, I mean, um, would have been thirty percent. Yeah, and I would have been like fucking silver. You, you wanted Ryan at the fucking funeral, but guess what? You fucking got a little percentage. You dumb fuck. <laughs> Hope you're happy. Why do I get the feeling Ryan wouldn't have been allowed either way? I'm... Exactly. I feel, I feel like that too because he's being in prison. Why would he? You know, he'd be like, ah, you know, you kissed my fucking ring, you fucking nerd. <laughs> <laughs> and then. That's it. <laughs> oh man. Okay. Oh, yeah. You liking the story so far? On my part. Yeah, dude. It's like night and day, dude. I think you legit got all the right choices in this chapter. Oh, the funeral song plays in the credits. Sweet. Nice. Now I guess you can. There's some time to reflect on uh, how, like night and day, this is fucking episode in the last episode. Was. Yeah, last episode I fucked up a lot. This episode, I mean, 
So. Yeah. And also, you know who to align with now and all that, and you have a good understanding of the characters. Yeah. Cause like, I know you didn't trust the fuck out of Tyrion because he was a Lannister, but like, I feel like he's your gateway into, you know, mm. success. Pretty much. Or for your family, pretty much. Yeah. But... <sighs> Such a beautiful song. Oh, yeah. But yes, next time I broadcast chapter three of our little story. I'm... And that'll be the chapter you fucked up. Like you're gonna, it's gonna be chapter one all over. <laughs> oh, I'm, I'm gonna make Asher such the pussy. It's not even funny. If you do that, it's gonna be a fight between us, bro. You can't make Asher punch. You can make somebody <laughs> else. Like you can fuck with Garrett, but don't fuck with me, bro. Don't fuck with Asher, bro. No, I'm fucking with Asher. No, I don't know, buddy. If you get him killed, man, there's no point in play. <laughs> I'm telling you right now, there's no point. You piece of shit. Fine, I'll just get Mira killed next chapter. No! <laughs> How are you? You know what? Mira's probably gonna get killed next chapter because of your actions in this chapter. If you fucking fuck up, thank god you didn't throw the knife. Cause I made that mistake, I threw the knife over. <laughs> oh wow. You don't know your evidence then. No, but the thing is, that's not even what fucked me over. It's like what happens, like, cause, like, that was kind of a... Because if you look at the choices, right, you didn't see, oh, this percentage of people threw the knife. So you can kind of tell that didn't really play a factor, but like, mm. it kind of does a little bit though. But not like a big one, like, oh yeah, like, because they'll be like, oh yeah, somebody killed him, but we don't know who. But right now, it's just like, oh yeah, we don't know, like, his body disappeared, he's gone, so. Hmm. But, yeah. And also, I don't know, was there other major choices, like, wasn't like, you know, not major choices, but like, big choices that wasn't on there, because I always feel like there's some choices he made that are kind of, you know, crucial, but it's not there for some reason. The deal with uh, Tyrion? Yeah, see, that wasn't there, so I was like, huh, that's weird. But gener generally, the big choices have uh, no time limit. Yeah. Yep. Are you going to maximize your Game of Thrones experience over, or just say, fuck you for another chapter? I'm saying, fuck you for another chapter. <laughs> Alright, I guess we can call it quits. Yeah. Yes. Oh, by the way, um, I want to say something real quick because you probably don't know. Like, you see on the main mini screen, you have like all four of them there or something? Yeah. If you get one of them dead, guess what happens? <laughs> oh, they're no longer there. Yeah, but it. So, you're gonna. Every time you load the game in, you're gonna re realize how bad you feel because you killed that person off. Hmm. God damn, you didn't feel much better in this chapter than what? Oh my god. <laughs> damn. Damn, you're looking at the difference though, it's not- it's, it's... Oh my god. I mean, quote unquote did better, but that it just means that I followed the majority mm. more this chapter than the last chapter. Which the majority is the standard of, you know, playing this game, right? <laughs> I'm just only saying that just for the fact that you didn't follow the majority. Yeah, you didn't follow the majority in the first chapter and look look what happened. Well, the first one was more, I fucked up and didn't realize what was going on. When yeah. leaving Bowen behind. Mm -hmm. Swore loyalty to Marjorie, that was just me doing what I thought was the right move. Yeah. Same with Free Derek, which is only 48%. Which is the better percentage, I can tell you that. Because mm. there's three choices if you didn't know, so it's divided by three. Oh, okay. Yeah. And the Great Hall and the Gate is 50-50, pretty much. Mm-hmm. 
<laughs> Which, you know, never let that fucker in again, so... <laughs> if you know any better. Yeah, right? But, yeah. So what's the uh, name of the next episode that you're going to play? Next time on our little playthrough is Chapter 3, The Sword in the Darkness. Nice. And also, Silver, I forgot I even mentioned, but I guess you can kind of look in the next chapter whenever you do start. Look at the codex more often, because it's, it's updated, if you didn't know. As, actually, you can check right now, like, look at Ethan's shit. Like, it's, uh, it's pretty cool. Alright there. Sadly, his lordship did not live long, because Ethan got murdered by Ramsey. Pretty much. Yep. Man, that shit always updates, by the way, so... Yeah. Okay. He's held hostage by the... Actually, you know, quick question before we end in. Who do you like more, uh, Talia or Mira? Talia or Mira? Yeah. From a looks standpoint... <laughs> I'd probably say Mira. Yeah. But as a character, I think is a better character, probably Talia. Oh. <laughs> Makes you want to even play Talia even more now, huh? If only she was playable. Who says she might not be playable? <laughs> if she's you playable, then that would be interesting. But until yeah. then. Yeah. Next time, we go to Chapter 3. See you guys later. Take care, and thank you, Pika, for being part of this two-hour fuckfest. No problem. Anything for a friend. Peace.